Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a timeline with the Night Lab Timeline Tool. This is pretty straightforward, um, but there are a couple of things that you need to think about in terms of just making sure that everything comes up the way that you want it to. Um, and so if you go to nightlab, um, timeline.nightlab.com, it will bring up the timeline page. You can also just go to Night Lab and choose it from the projects menu. It will also give you a quick uh, set of tips, an instructional video, and just some sample timelines that um, they have made with their tool. So in order to make a timeline, they do give you step-by-step -step instructions. However, there are a couple of things you need to know. First, this timeline allows you to actually import both pictures and text and video if you want to. And so you want to make sure that for this project you have things organize in a way that makes sense for you. And so um, this, uh, this timeline supports direct links for pictures, um, and we can talk about what that is. Um, but you can uh, link your pictures from things like Flickr, or if you have a Box account, uh, box.com, or Google Drive. Um, if you're watching this in order to work on this for a class, we all have access to Google Drive, and so I recommend you take advantage of that. So um, even if you have your uh, different folders, main folders for Google Drive, I suggest making a folder just for the pictures that you're going to be using for this project. Okay, so when we first start, we want to get the template. Um, you want to use this one specifically for your um, project. And you don't want to change any of the headers or remove any columns. Um, and you want to make sure that there are no blank rows in your spreadsheet. So I'm going to make a copy. And here we go. Okay, so. One of the things um, that this does is it just puts a copy of this in your Google Drive. And so if you are signed in to um, multiple drives, just make sure when you go back to your drive and scroll down that it's somewhere in here. Um, I'm not seeing mine, so I think it actually copied over to another account. Um, yeah, it did. But uh, just make sure that you have it in the right place. We're going to go ahead and use this for now, though. So basically, all you're doing is modifying these cells so that it is uh, what you want it to do. So I'm just going to delete a few things here. So if you're putting in a picture or a video, that will go in the media section. Um, if you're putting in, if you are using pictures that you have not uh, taken yourself or created yourself, you do want to give credit to whoever it is. So let's say you have a nice picture of a sunset uh, that you got off of Flickr. You want to make sure that you credit the artist or the photographer here in the media credit section. And for accessibility purposes, we always want captions. All right, so these next ones you don't really have to worry too much about, but I will tell you what they are. And so this, when it asks you for type, this is kind of adding data to your timeline. So when it says title, this is letting um, letting the, uh, the Excel sheet know that this is a title card. This is kind of the overview card for your, um, for your timeline. And the other option you have is to put era. So if you were doing a, a, ti a timeline of, um, let's say, 
uh, just a timeline of American literature, and you wanted to differentiate between periods, so um, within the Harlem Renaissance or within um, whatever period you wanted, you can put those in that in as well, and it will come up beneath the uh, beneath the scroll bar on the timeline, so that you can see um, that you know these authors were writing during this period. Um, but it doesn't actually give you other sections. So you want to make sure that if you're just wanting the content within your timeline, just leave this blank. Don't really need to know about groups. Um, and then if you do want um, to change the colors, this takes hex codes. So a hex code is just these numbers and sometimes numbers and letters uh, with the hashtag before it. And um, to get those, it's really easy. Um, if you have a favorite color, all you have to do is put in hex code and whatever that color is that you want, and uh, Google will bring it up for you. So that's how you find those. Okay, so I'm just going to put in a few uh, things as an example. I'm not going to do too much. For the month, date, and year, you want to make sure that you're putting in um, at least the month. Uh, you don't necessarily need the date and the time, but you want uh, to put in the month. And so we're going to do this real fast. Then we'll talk about some other stuff. So for the purposes of this, I'm only going to put in two. Um, so if you have a bunch of these that you have to do, oops, let me uh, do this instead. If you have a bunch of these that you'll have to do, you'll probably actually want to add rows. But since I only have these two for this example and I don't want to have any, um, any blank spaces, I'm going to just delete the rows that I don't need. So now let's talk about adding our media. For this, we're just going to have their names. Okay. And I'm going to come back to our Google Drive. and back to our pictures. And this is where it helps to have all of your pictures sorted just so you don't have to uh, search too far for them. So we've got our picture of James Baldwin and we're gonna just get the share link. Now when you do this, um, first of all, the easiest way to do this is just to make sure that for the folder itself, you have the share link setting set to anyone with link can view. And that transfers the settings to everything that's in the folder. 
So it's good to check um, just when you get the link to make sure that that's set to the right thing. And then you'll need to copy this. Oops. And when you copy it, you can just paste it directly into that section. We'll do the same thing here. got our pictures put in through Google Drive. Uh, we have our title card. We don't need eras right now. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and change the background. Um, I want it to alternate between the um, kind of gray color that they have set and teal. Oh my goodness, that's big. Um, so now that I have my timeline put together, so once you have all of the, um, all of your sections put together, all of your text put in, um, you've made sure that you at least have a month. You don't remember, you don't have to have a day, but you do need to at least have a month, um, and all of that good stuff. Now it's time to move on to the next step. So when you are uh, using this, you want the published version. Um, and so you want to go ahead and come to file and publish to the web. You don't want the entire document. What you want instead is the OD1 and hit publish. Now it's going to give you this link, um, but you actually need the URL from the top here. So you just want to close this and then copy this top bar URL. Okay. So the third thing is just to put paste it in. And once you paste it in, it's going to give you the share link and it's going to give you a preview down here at the bottom. It'll appear in a second. But what you need to know is that uh, for the look and feel of your timeline, if you want to change something such as the font or anything like that, uh, you want to do it before you paste this in. So that's down here in these optional settings. So if you hit show, you can change the language, you can change the font, um, you can tell it to start at a specific slide, a specific zoom level, all sorts of stuff. Um, so right now what we're just going to do is change the font. So if you click on what's already selected, it'll bring down the drop down menu. And I'm just going to pick Medulla 1 and Lato. And then I'll paste in my spreadsheet. So now I've got my links. I can open it in a new window or I can scroll down to the bottom um, and look at it here. So I didn't put a picture in here, but you can see I've got my title um, and my uh, and my subtitle. Uh, and then when you scroll all the way down, you can see that I've got um, this kind of uh, scroll bar here. And this is what I was talking about when I mentioned, oh, there we go, and you can switch to um, different people from the scroll bar too. But this is what I was talking about when I mentioned eras. So if I wanted to um, like talk about, uh, if I wanted to put in the civil rights movement, what that would do was it is it would put in a little tag down here where my cursor is that showed the span of time that the civil rights era was. So it wouldn't do anything to these um, two entries. It would just show at the bottom um, the space of time that certain things were taking place. So you can do that um, under the type uh, column if you want to. But that is... Um, how you will make a timeline. So again, just things to think about um, are, it's gonna copy this over to your Google Drive. So just check to make sure you know where it copied, make sure that you're signed into the right one um, that you want. And um, when you're putting these together, make sure you have a month and a year. 
Um, and when you are doing the media, doing it from Google Drive, you want to make sure that it is set to anyone with the link can view. For Flickr, there is a share button, um, the little share arrow that you can share from. And then if you have a paid box account, you can um, turn on the sharing and go to your settings and get the direct link. And that is how you'll create your timeline.